Hey everybody, I'm Wallers Vault, and welcome back to another award booking demonstration, where this time we're looking for an award booking need for Guillermo, and Guillermo is looking for a flight from Los Angeles to Doha, but he has a very specific need. But first, if this is your first time here to this channel, this channel is all about credit cards, credit card rewards, and showing how you can use your points and miles to travel for less. So if something that interests you, consider subscribing and turning the bell notification on as well. Also, considering the video a thumbs up, it really does help the channel out. Now, Guillermo's looking to fly one person in a premium class cabin if it's available. If it's not there, he's fine with coach. He's looking to fly non-stop from Los Angeles to Doha from November 13th to November 27th, but he does have some flexibility in those dates. He currently has 200,000 membership reward points, 90,000 American airline miles, 160,000 Delta Sky miles. He also has 100,000 ultimate reward points, but he would like to save those for a hotel if possible, which is gonna be perfectly fine because we're not using your ultimate reward points or your Delta Sky miles for this trip. He also has the business platinum, which could come in handy for that 35% rebate if the cash fares on a business class ticket are low enough. Now, the big thing about this booking is that Guillermo wants a nonstop flight. Do you know how many nonstop flights there are from Los Angeles to Doha? There is one, and it's operated by Qatar Airlines. And Qatar is part of the One World Alliance, so we have some options here with your points, Guillermo. Now, first, as I always tell you, we should check Google Flights because the cash fare could be low to where utilizing the travel portal could be a better option for you. So that's exactly where we're going to start. We're going to start from LAX over to Doha. And we're going to go November 13th to November 27th. Now we're also going to filter out by nonstop flights because that is what you want. Now here's our cutter flight. $1,018 in economy class. And if we wanted that to look the, the fare for business class, it's about 6,500 bucks. So utilizing the travel portal is not going to be a good option here because it is so expensive. Now, one thing I did want to note on this flight, if you were to look up QR740 on the outbound and QR739 on the flight home, those are operated by Q Suites. And Q Suites, for my reading on it, because I've never flown it, is probably one of the best business class products in the sky currently, and cutter service on it apparently is fantastic. So if you have the opportunity to fly Q Suites, people's mouth water when the availability is there. So if you get that opportunity and you want to fly it, it is a really good value for your points and miles. But now that we know that the cash fare is ridiculously expensive, we need to look to using our, tr our partners here and the miles that you currently have. Now, based on your current point totals, you have a couple of options. We have American Airlines. You can use membership rewards to transfer to Asia Miles, British Airways Avios, or Qantas to make this happen. And right off the bat, we're gonna cut two options off this. We're gonna cut British Airways Avios off because they wanna charge 154,500 Avios plus $675 in taxes and fees for this flight. And there's no way you should be using this option. That is a terrible use of your points because you have better options here. Qantas wants to charge you 119,000 points. Again, we're crossing that one off the list because we have better options for our points and miles. So that leaves us with American Airlines and Asia Miles. So let's first start off by looking at American Airlines. Now I did open two browsers because I do like to book and search in one-way form. So having two browsers, it can speed up the process in which I look up for award flights. So now when you get to American Airlines, you actually have two ways that you can search award flights. The first one is to use this, the option they have right on the screen by redeeming your miles and searching, but it's not very user-friendly. You can't see saver space. It shows that dynamic pricing. It's really kind of a pain in the ass. So I would not recommend doing this. What I would say to do for American Airlines miles is you wanna go down to this advanced multi-city search because this is gonna give you a no better search of an award chart, and I'll show you that here in one second. So we're gonna search one way from LAX. Make sure you click redeem miles as well to Doha. We're gonna go all the way over to November 13th. Now as that searches, we're gonna to go to the other browser, and we're gonna go from Doha, actually, multi-city search function. See, almost messed up myself. Redeem miles, Doha, and then to LAX. And November 27th. Now we'll go back to the first browser. And you can see that economy fare is 40,000 miles one way. Now we're gonna go in here. Now we can see there's business class saver space. So we'll take a look at that as well when we get into the flights. 
So when you look at in here, you're going to see that Qantas does offer a nonstop economy fare using your American airline miles. And they also offer it using American airline miles who are currently at the saver space at 70,000 miles, which is a fantastic value. So we're going to go ahead and select this and then we're going to check our taxes and fees. And for this flight on the outbound from LAX to Doha, it is only 70,000 miles and $7.65. Again, fantastic value for your points and miles. And on the, on the flight home, we want to check, again, we see economy space is open. So we're going to start there with our economy space and see if Qantas is even an option for us. And sure enough, economy fare is there, Doha to LAX. But let's check business class. And again, 70,000 miles using your American miles for that Q suite from Doha to LAX is there. Now we want to check our taxes and fees here as well. And for this flight home, it's again only 70,000 miles and only $39.50. Remember, this is almost a $6,500 airline ticket. So this is a really good value here. And to fly economy, it would only be 80,000 American airline miles and $47.15. And you have enough American airline miles to make that happen. And this ticket price is a little over $1,000. And you basically would be redeeming a 1.2 cent per point value and redeeming your points here. And I know it's not maybe the best in terms of cent per point value, but you do get a nonstop flight as well, which is, you know, there is value there for that. But un and unfortunately, with your business platinum card, that 35% rebate doesn't work on all economy fares. It needs to be for your selected airline, and you can't select Qantas. So that is really unfortunate because if you could utilize that function here, it would only be 68,250 membership reward points for that same exact flight. It's kind of one of the flaws in the system with membership rewards that you can't use it on all economy fares. I wish they would change that. Um, and since it's not a good option for business class, that 35% rebate is not even going to be an option for us going forward. And for the sense of for business class, it's 140,000 American airline miles and the same $47.15, which is a really good value because you'd be yielding about a 4.6 cent per point value here, which is actually pretty awesome. But the problem here is though, you don't have enough American airline miles to fly this completely in business class, but you do have membership reward points, which will transfer to Asia miles. So let's take a look at that option. Now for Asia miles, I did decide to open two browsers as well, because having two browsers and searching in for one ways really does speed up the award searching process. Now to get to the screen to start searching flights, you want to go to redeem awards, go to flight awards and then scroll on down and go to redeem now. Now this is going to allow us to start searching for flights. We want to search a one way from LAX to Doha and we're going to select Qatar Airlines and we're going to search. Now business class seats on using Asia miles is 90,000 miles one way. Fortunately, right now until the end of January, there's a bonus with Asia Miles to where if you were to transfer your membership reward points, you'd get a 10% bonus on that. So this would only be 81,000 membership reward points to transfer to Asia Miles to get to that 90,000 mark. And we're going to depart here because we're searching on the outbound November 13th. And then we're going to hit redeem now. Now on the other side, we're going to search one way. And we're going to go Doha. And this will all make sense here in a second when you see why we're doing this. <clears throat> Search again for cutter. Business class, same thing applies. It'd be that 81,000 that we have to transfer over for membership rewards. So you get a little bit of a discount here in the sense of using your points. Now we're going to redeem now. Now when we scroll on down, we're going to see that the cutter flight is there. It's 90,000 Asia miles as advertised. But now the problem that you're going to come into Let's convert this over to dollars real fast. Let's scroll all the way down. From flying from LAX to Doha, you're looking at $676 in tax and fees, which is ridiculously high compared to American Airlines because it's only 70,000 miles and seven bucks for taxes and fees compared to 90,000 miles and $676. So this really is not a great option for us, but let's check the flight home. Flight home on the 27th, we have the same flight, Doha to LAX, 90,000 miles. But then when this loads up, let's convert these taxes and fees. It is only $203 to fly from Doha to LAX using Asia miles. So 
it's important to search this out because if you only looked one way, you might not know it's a third of the price or even less than a third of the price to using Asia Miles on the flight home as opposed to the outbound. Now I do realize using Asia Miles is not nearly as good as using American Airline Miles, so it's gonna cost you more miles as well as more money in taxes and fees. But do keep in mind, this is a $6,500 ticket and you'd be getting out of there for only $210 out of pocket, which is a phenomenal deal. So this leaves you with a couple decisions, right? You can choose to fly economy, use your American airline miles at 80,000 round trip, and then you know the, the $47 in taxes and fees if you wanted to. The other option is if you wanna make sure you're getting the best terms instead of point per value, you could open up another American airline credit card, earn an American airline bonus, only use American airline miles, and you're gonna save more money in terms of taxes as well as fewer miles. The problem with doing that is that these award seats might not be there a month or two months from now whenever you, those miles were to hit your account. So then you have to weigh the risk of losing out and flying economy or ponying up and just spending a little bit more in terms of taxes and fees. And I realize this isn't the best option, but 81,000 miles to fly Q suites for 16 hours really isn't a terrible option. And I really think these are the options for you if you are looking to fly in business class. Now, if it were me and I was looking to fly 16 plus hours business class in a nonstop flight, you know, I, I would just suck it up. I'd spend the American airline miles on the outbound for $7 and 70,000 miles. And then I would spend the 81,000 membership award points to Asia miles and the $203. Because even with doing that, $210 in taxes and fees, you're still receiving a 4.2 cent per mile value here, which is still fantastic. And you're getting to experience one of the best business clavin products in the sky right now. But ultimately, if you just wanna save miles and cash altogether, 80,000 round trip in economy on American Airline using American Airline miles is gonna be the way to go. But by all means, if you wanna enjoy a premium class cabin for a super long flight, you know, I don't think you're getting a bad deal by using AA on the way out and Asia Miles on the way home. But either way, however you decide to book it, let us know in the comments because I'm always curious how people end up deciding to use their miles here. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in this video. If you want to be part of the award booking demonstration series, there is a link in the description below. Fill out that form and you could be featured in the award booking demonstration series. And if you want to help support the channel, a simple way would be links on the website or in the description below. And until next time, safe travels and take care.